the Gakan. That was a good one. There was a lot of uh, awesome cosplayers, cool people, like our neighbors. Oh, man, I wish I could remember their names, man. They uh, they took care of us. I had to have uh, zip ties for the banners. It was so cool. So many cosplayers. It was such a fun... It was fun. It was a fun con. Uh, it was our first time. I hope they have a second one. Local cons. I support them always, and I hope they... You know, they do their thing. Um, uh, I wish them the best of luck, and I hope they, 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 they were successful enough to be able to have another one. So, anyways, back to me. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I wanted to tell you guys why I'm doing this vlog. Um, I've always had, like, a, a thing with my weight. It's something that I've always had an issue with. I've always had, you know, that roller coaster diet, blah, blah, blah. And I'm motivated right now, guys. Like, all my friends are cosplayers. I have a very few select, like, friends locally, like, in my town that I, uh, I'm still friends with. I've, I've known them from, from since I was a young, a young in elementary school. But I have so many friends all across the United States from, from, you know, conventions. And they're all cosplayers for the most part. Um, and... They've been so cool to me. Cosplay has honestly changed everything about me. Like, it's just crazy. So, uh, I, I decided to cosplay, finally. And I ended up, I chose Negan. It happened to be, you know, he was coming on the show. I'm into The Walking Dead. He has a beard. I comb my hair back. Actually, I grew my hair out for Negan. Um, and, you know, I ordered a jacket. The jacket fit me too tight. And I didn't want to waste the jacket. So, I lost a couple pounds and it finally fit. But I'm not going to stop there. I have Megacon coming up. Two months. Late May. And I have put it upon myself to drop another 10 pounds. And I figured, why not bring you guys along for the ride? It might be interesting. I do different things. I do shoots. I do parodies. I shoot... Uh, I do photo shoots, um, and why not add all this together so y'all guys can see what all the fuss is about, I guess. So, this is what it's about. I hope y'all have fun. Come with me to this journey. We're going to lose some weight. We're going to see some cool stuff. And I hope, you know, people watch it. And if it's one person, if it's ten, if it's a thousand, if it's whatever, I don't care. I really want to do this. And I'm excited about it. So, thank you guys. Here's a, here's a little bit of some MalugaCon. Day two, right? Yeah, I think day two MalugaCon coming up. Are you recording or not? You are, okay. What's up, guys? We are on our way to day two of MalugaCon. We got Dirk. Sentence is like I was the Karate Kid. I was the Karate Kid. <laughs> I love the Karate Kid. I love the Karate Kid because <laughs> you did. You did say Ralph Macho earlier, so I was Ralph Macho. He's my favorite. I'm the Karate Kid. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Mega Ralph, Ralph, <laughs> and Romy. <laughs> Malugacon. Let's break it up. Let's 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 destroy this Malugacon. Let's make this amazing, guys. Like we're gonna kill it. 
If there's one person there or 10,000, we're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna go to prison for this. We're, we're gonna go to court for this. Oh yeah, we also talked about the fact that I, I hate I hate to bring this back up again, but if we was to get in a wreck, <laughs> he would be the only one to survive because he's got hand airbags. He's got hands for days. He's got pillow hands. It's crazy. He looks like a Muppet. All the words I tell you got blood on your face. Your big disgrace. Waving your banner all over the place. We the booth around a little bit and it's a lot of it. Hey! What's up? <laughs> so yeah, the cosplay action today. This is our booth for today. Changed it up a little bit. Still got Dirk, still got uh, cosplayer on there. But um, so we're going to do cosplay stuff. So let's check it out guys. It looks like there's a lot of cosplayers here and we're going to capture them as much as possible. So, we'll see you later. Oh my god, so here we are at Turks. Turks panel's about to start. Ah! How do you feel, Dirk, man? I mean, everyone, straight up, everyone is like being very supportive. Everyone's like confident in me. I'm confident, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm a nervous wreck. I'm, I'm a nervous wreck because I did not plan to have this film shown here. And this is the perfect convention to play. To play Aftershock here. Uh, the, the panel just finished, that means he's next. He's sweating. He's sweating. So, Johnny, how's it going? I'm doing great. You having fun? Right now. Right now. <laughs> Are you a zombie? If you're a zombie, I got a seal. I'm not a zombie, I'm just sleep deprived right now. Well, that's what a zombie is. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. And. Well, he's gonna be in like a lot of the vlog today. He's not. He's not a talker. But I mean, look at the guy. Look at the guy. What do you think of this music that they put for you? <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, perfect it's Zelda music for Bioshock. It's but it's calming your nerves. No. Yeah. yeah. No. No. You're here and you are a fan of the video game franchise Bioshock. Specifically Bioshock 1. I've got some oh, Deku Boy. You. This is our uh, first game we did called Aftershock. This story takes place right after the events of the first. Derek is on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, he is. Look at him. us. We had a blast. A lot of cool cosplayers. Um, everything seemed very organized. Everything seemed like you guys cared about us. 
which is not the case for a lot of conventions. Cosplayers get ignored a lot of times. Y'all guys took care of us, so we thank you. This is beautiful Tampa Bay in my background. It was fun. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, Maluga Khan. Peace out. So, uh, Dirk <laughs> left to say goodbye to somebody. Uh, <laughs> it was he good, leave, he it leaves. Was... He leaves with his glasses off and he returns with his glasses on. So there's either a tear or something is. I don't know what I'm saying. Dirk it, dirk it, dirk it. <laughs> <laughs>